Hello, hello everyone. This is Michelle Landusky and this is my self acronym video. Um, currently, I am working in the optical field. Um, you have two separate types of optical. You have your retail stores, which are more of like a SVS Vision, uh, Vision Works, things of that nature. Then you have your medical field in optics, which um, typically we see patients that come in for macular degeneration, retinal detachments, cataracts, um, things like that. We also still see patients that um, come in for the routine eye exam as well. Um, they'll come in, get their eye exam, and they'll pick their glasses. So essentially with being a retail and a medical optics um, office, we kind of have to be creative in the fact that you know, one patient would come in for an eye exam, picking out glasses, and the next patient is coming out with a prescription from their doctor, or now we are scheduling them to come in for a cataract surgery, and then we kind of have to educate them on the types of uh, medication that they have to take or the protocols uh, they have to go through before surgery. Um, so let's get right to it, and that would begin with the letter C in my acronym of CLOVER. So C, being creative. We typically have patients that come in um, that'll have, we'll take a regular eye exam, routine exam, or comprehensive exam, for example. We'll say Harold comes in with a minus four, which is a high prescription, um, which is myopia, which that means you can't see far. I say minus four because that's what I am. So typically with a minus four or a, even if it's a plus four, plus means you can't see up closer, so you need it for reading. Um, he wants a semi rimless frame, which would be a frame without the rim at the bottom. Now, the higher your prescription, the thinner the lens you have to get, and you have to take in consideration with a heavier script or a higher script and a semi rimless frame, you are kind of compensating for um, the durability of the frame. So, in that in that aspect, you kind of have to take a look at the insurance. Well, A, is the insurance going to cover this frame for the patient? Is this within the, frame, the patient's budget? Um, or is the patient going to um, okay the, the new lens options? Or um, is your insurance going to okay the new lens options? So we would say in a minus four, a patient would have a high index frame or lens, my apologies and insurance doesn't cover it. So now we have to consult the patient and say, well, I recommend this, but your insurance is covering this. So you kind of have to get creative with co-pays and insurance and patient's needs. Um, if you have a patient coming out that has um, a prescription for, we'll say pink eye, conjunctivitis. So Typically now you have to consult them and tell them, you know, no makeup, don't touch your eye, uh, make sure you use your ointment or your drops every, you know, two hours at bedtime. Um, a lot of patients won't listen and they will come in or call you the next morning and say it's worse. So at that point you kind of have to be creative with your words as to um, keep your customer service and then you have to consult the doctor and so on and so forth. So we can say L in the word clover would bring that um, to the word leader. I am naturally a leader because I work well under pressure. So we have um, six different opticians underneath me and four doctors. At that point, I have to make sure that every doctor is on time and flowing with examinations as well as our patient intake. So when patients come in after they see the doctor, we have to divvy up each patient to certain opticians. Some opticians are able to see the medical aspect patient and some are only allowed to see the optical, which would be the retail, um, just picking out glasses or ordering contacts. So I just have to make sure I kind of prioritize correctly as to who goes where. Um, and then with O being in clover, that would be observant. 
that kind of goes into what I said about being a leader, I kind of just take a step back and, and see what I have going on here. Um, if I have five patients that are getting ready to come out for glasses or contacts, I have to kind of prioritize our time and say, you know, employee A has been with this patient for, you know, 10 minutes now and our patient's getting ready to walk out. Do I take over that patient so the other employee can take over the new patient walking out or so on and so forth? Um, typically when you're observant, the flow just works better. Um, I'm able to see what's going on in the situation and I can kind of grasp the idea of you know where to go on from there so versatile is the v in clover i'd like to say that above everything i'm very versatile i can wear many hats i guess you can say one minute i can be the optician the next minute i can be the office manager um, the next minute can be customer service because someone ordered the wrong contacts and patient is throwing a box of contacts at me, which happened today. However, <laughs> it's okay because we figured it out. We calmed down the patient and uh, she actually brought us Tim Hortons after. So it was, it was pretty cool. But um, being versatile, you have to know what you're doing at all times. If you need to pre-test the patient because you're running behind, but the phones are ringing. So you, what do you do? You prioritize, you answer the phone, put the patient on hold. If you know that your pre-test is only gonna take 10, 15 seconds, great. If not, you find someone else to answer the phone or do a pre-test. Um, so, you know, typically that's, I guess you can say, common sense but when you're pushed in and there's a lot of things going on at once you kind of have to really take a step back and, and observe uh, and my last letter would be reliable also one of my very big strengths I would say um, I am a very reliable employee because I show up to work on time every day typically I don't call off unless I'm incredibly sick, dying pretty much. Um, not only would I say I'm reliable because of my attendance, I'm also reliable because a lot of employees and the doctors know they can depend on me. If someone calls in sick and someone needs to open, but it's my day off, they know they can call me to go open and do what I need to do until the next employee comes. Um, if a patient is very upset and they have you know, no capability of calming the patient down. They know that they can rely on me to to help out in that situation. Um, so there's that. Uh, that is that concludes my video of uh, my self acronym. And hopefully I haven't bored you guys too much. And hopefully you've learned a thing or two about optics. I right, thank you. Have a good night.